tracking some showers, though, so we'll start out with the clouds eventually start to see a little more sunshine here later today. Uh, but these showers getting closer to Bland County between 715 and 745, closer to Withville between 715 730. And then it, if it holds together, Pulaski, Narrows, Parisburg, Radford, any time between around 805 and 840 this morning, that's when you could see a little bit of light rain. But all indications is that uh, this line of showers actually going to fall apart a little bit as it starts to move from west to east. Cold front passing through the area. This is a game changer for us. So we'll start to see more sunshine west in the NRV in the Highlands, Southern Blue Ridge, Roanoke Valley. Keep it on to the clouds and at least a chance for a few hit or miss showers and storms in Lynchburg and Southside after 1 or 2 p.m. Then the drier air finally starts working its way back into the area and still Pretty warm today. Temperatures about 10 degrees warmer than yesterday. Low to mid 80s for a lot of us. Mid to upper 70s in Hillsville, Withville and Blacksburg. Then by tonight as that drier air comes in, it actually allows temperatures to drop a little bit more. Generally 55 to 60, 53 the cool spot. Hot springs in Withville by first thing tomorrow morning. So we'll take that because unfortunately things are a little more chaotic farther offshore. We've got Tropical Storm Dorian getting closer to Puerto Rico. It's going to miss the mountains of the, the Dominican, and that's actually bad news for us here on the mainland U.S. As the National Hurricane Center now has this as a Category 2 storm, making landfall anywhere between Miami and Charleston, South Carolina. So Florida impact is probably the most likely situation right now. Could produce some rip currents along the East Coast as soon as Friday or Saturday with minimal impact here locally. But keep in mind, we're still talking about something five to six days away. Things can change, and I want to show you how they may change. If this takes a track uh, farther to the south, that'll just mean that the jet stream hasn't really grabbed it and tried to pull it up north, so it would be more impactful to Florida. However, if the jet stream, basically the railroad for the atmosphere, if that dips, it can grab Dorian, pull it closer to the Carolinas, and unfortunately may mean you coming back from vacation a little bit early. So keep an eye on the forecast here the next two days. There's a little bit of wiggle room, but in any event, for us here locally, it just means mainly some spotty showers and thunderstorms Sunday and Monday. If that changes, we will absolutely let you know. But for right now, our Labor Day weekend looks to be pretty much intact. Temperatures upper 50s, low 60s tonight, mid to upper 50s tomorrow night. We're in the mid to upper 80s on Friday, low to mid 80s for highs throughout the Labor Day weekend.